best practice it is. We'll double it up today. Or we'll at we'll attempt to anyway. <laughs> Oh, what's good, Adam? What's poppin', my guy? <laughs> you doing good, my boy? I was just chilling for real. Oh, you guys got snow? Man, I miss snow. Maybe one day, you know, we'll get snow in Texas, even though that, even though that, that hasn't happened in, uh, in a long time. <laughs> Wait, really? It's been, it's been over a year since you guys have had snow? That's actually, that's actually kind of insane. Wait, what? Over a year without snow? I didn't even think that was possible in Boston, to be honest. I thought I thought it was pretty much required that snow must happen or else Boston will cease to exist. Well, I guess that means uh I guess that means nature is healing, you know? Maybe uh, maybe global warming re really wasn't real, you know. Now that you guys have snow, <laughs> maybe maybe the world getting warmer was just a was just a hoax after all. <laughs> Imagine people see snow for the first time, they're like, "Yeah, global warming isn't real." I think the strat is first snowfall over an inch. Oh, oh, over an inch specifically? Still crazy. <laughs> Honestly, that that's still pretty crazy. We had almost none last year. Man, that year must have been great for people in college, though, right? Because like, they don't have to walk to school in the snow and slush. That must that must have been great. I think our last storm was on Elden Ring release day. <laughs> Elden Ring release day, the last day of snow. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I think I, I think I got that. That's still crazy. In Texas, obviously we're not we're not getting any snow at all. And you had to do something very drastic. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? What did what did you have to do that was so drastic? Oh, that's what you meant. I mean, it worked, didn't it? A digital copy? I mean, it still worked out. Yeah. 
Well, I'm, I'm assuming you also got the physical copy a little bit later, right? I'm, I'm assuming that, but I could be wrong. Oh wait, you didn't? Wait, you never got a physical copy? Oh, I feel like I feel like that's so unlike you, Adam. Same with maidenless. I'm physicless, bro. Just just go to the store and buy. I mean, there, there's probably they're probably going for like for like thirty dollars right now. Ah, no, they they wouldn't be full price now, right? Like. That's got to be like, I don't know, 30 or 40 or something, right? I'll wait for mega cheap. Are you like, like $10? Oh, Or I guess I guess you'll really know when it's really cheap when Mario 64 posts about it. I still have all of Wario 64's uh uh Twitter posts uh going to my phone. I'm getting all of his notifications. I just like to look at the deals. Yeah, that yeah, that's true. That's true. Why, 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 why would you need Elden Ring right now? Or why would you need the game right now anyway? to play my uh I need to play my other games like right now right now I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn and uh the game definitely has slowed down for me in the beginning it was it was really really cool but I don't know it just kind of it's slow it definitely slowed down. I feel like I'm just never strong enough I don't I don't know the best way to to put it I don't know if I'm just not buying, you know, the right, the right weapons or whatever. Uh, but I always feel really like I feel like even when I go fight some of the uh, the weakest enemies in the game, I feel like I'm still vulnerable <laughs> when I shouldn't be at this point. Anyway. I tried fire signal, I'll get to the same part and stop. Does it does it all does it always feel like you're like too weak or maybe it's just like the mechanics just aren't for you maybe maybe it's because it's too stealthy So I can say I don't know how people like things. Oh mm. <laughs> So hmm I can I can definitely see why you honestly I can definitely see why you would say that um, I think I think in the beginning it's actually it's actually really really cool in the beginning it's really really cool but then I think once you get past that initial portion it starts it does start to slog at least in my experience so far I've only gotten to like the second uh, like major city outside of like you know the mother's den and all that stuff but um yeah it's um it's definitely it's definitely felt a little a little sluggish to me. Like, what was your um, what was your main gripe? I guess so far, like, what what's the part that keeps making you stop? I guess. Adam <laughs> I definitely understand that Ubisoft feel like when I when I was playing the game and I, you know the first thing you know I, I look at the map and I see all the things I was like oh this seems like 
This seems very Ubisoft X or Ubisoft esque. Um, you know. But it has no real interesting catch. Let's see. Is that true? Does the game have no real interesting catch? Hmm. I guess the catch would have to be the story, right? But I guess if that's the only catch, then that's not uh then that's not enough. My my biggest gripe with the game is the um the progression system. I feel like I feel like leveling up doesn't feel that great. It feels I don't know, it feels kind of boring. Like I feel like I don't get enough for my level ups. And I'm like, I would expect a little bit more. Ghost of Tsushima's example it feels like an Ubisoft game, but it's beautiful, and the story feels really meaningful. Horizon's like an Ubisoft game, but instead of powers, they move a little. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. May, hey, you know, maybe, maybe the game, you know, opens up more. You know, if you if you get a little further. Powers never feel cool. Oh, <laughs> it's just like, oh boy, a better trap. I've. It's even kind of less than that. It's like, it's like, oh yeah, you can unmodify some of your items now. Oh no, actually, hold on a second. That's after you're like at the very end of the skill tree or whatever. It's like, oh yeah, you can now, <laughs> you can now use less or you can now unequip modifiers from your weapons. I'm like. All right, that's cool, I guess. You can now tame machines easier. I'm like, uh, sure. I mean, that's that's cool and all. It's not really exciting, I guess. Now I can stand still a little less. <laughs> that, yeah, that that is, that is really what it feels like. Or it's like, where, what was one? I, I, I have to look at the upgrade tree again because it was it was something so small in my mood my new I'm like I'm like why like why why is this a power-up? I think it had something to do with like your weight or something or you make less noise. I can't remember And one of them was like, oh, yeah, you can you can stand on the ropes now I'm like, all right. I mean, I guess But you know, I I am a man of of seeing things through to the end for the most part. So I will I will continue playing it to get to the end. I think it's I think it's just not a very good action or stealth game. Honestly, I think I think for stealth I think I think it is a pretty good stealth game for what they want you to do, right? Because you know they, they give you a whole bunch of cover, they give you a whole bunch of things that you know that deal with stealth, uh, you know, the whole you know listening feature or whatever, and they they really incentivize you for trying to do that. Now the action portion, I think, uh, I think that's uh, where it falters a little bit so far. I think uh, I think it does. I think it does lack in action. Well, the stuff I don't know. I feel like I feel like it does pretty good. You know, I feel like it gives you all the tools that you need to be stealthy. I am just not a stealthy person by nature. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great. It would. It would absolutely be fantastic. I would. I would love that. Yes. And not bust it out after two hits. <laughs> I think that would be great. Yes. 
100%. But I think I think that's why it leans into its uh, into its stealthy mechanics more, because it's like if you're stealthy, you likely won't be getting hit to like to die very quickly. Um, but you know, if you just go in with action, it's like yeah, you can, but uh, the the hits won't feel as strong, and you will die a lot quicker because it wants you to be stealthy. But honestly, I think it should be a more risk reward. Like, yeah, you can go in and deal a whole bunch of damage, but you will die very quickly. You know? That's just that's just how I would do it. Or how how I would like it to be done. I wonder if they changed that for um for the set for um the sequel. I, I'm probably going to play the, the sequel just because I have it for free, but I don't know. Who knows? Yo, what's good? Throw was popping, my G. Apparently, the sequel is just too much boring story. Too much boring story? What I get, man, what 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 does that even look like? What is too much boring story? Wait, C B, huh? Wait, what do you what do you mean what do you mean C B? Like uh, like corner boost or are you saying something else? I wonder if the V I wonder if the VR horizon is good. I I feel like I feel like I have to play that at some point because I have a PSVR, so. That that might be coming for me. Yeah, corner booze. So people just aren't feeling, I don't know, seemingly feeling Horizon anymore. Is that the the general consensus that you've been that you've been seeing and feeling? The second, okay. Well, hey, who knows? Maybe with the third one that they're definitely going to release, it'll be a uh, I don't know, a better a better game, may maybe better action. People still enjoy the first one, but I'm not one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, in the beginning, I definitely felt I definitely was having a lot of fun. Now I'm feeling a little bit more of the slog. So I'm hoping I'm hoping soon it'll pick up and I'll I'll be able to tell you if I truly, you know, end up liking the game or not. An MMO? A Horizon MMO, huh? That could be cool. Hopeling. Wait, what are you wait, what are you hoping for another Horizon game? God dog. I'm not sure if the IP is wrong. Uh I'm I'm almost positive you're right. I'm almost positive uh uh it's not strong enough. <laughs> Now you misspoke. Hopling? What? What is Hopling? Hopling? So hoping for hope for Hopling. Oh, oh, you're saying I said Hopeling. Oh, I understand. Now, nah, what the re I didn't, I didn't misspeak. Now, nah. my controller just randomly disconnected. 
Hey, Naye, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Don't say, don't say, oh my God. Don't, don't say that. Don't, don't do that throw. <laughs> oh yeah, doc. So yesterday, man, yesterday was, it was a crazy busy mother freaking day. I, uh, I woke up at 7 AM. Uh, and then, uh, I, did I eat? No, I don't think I ate actually. Yeah, I went out, I went out running. I uh, did my did my five miles. Uh, then immediately after that, came home, showered. Then I ate. Then I went. I got to the uh, to the venue because I was running a monthly. I got there at like twelve. Immediately started setting up, and I ran. I ran our big monthly. Uh, it was a fantastic time. Didn't leave the venue until like. until like 10 and then we then we all went out to eat at this place called Pluckers it's like a chicken wing place and then I didn't get home until like until like a little bit after midnight god yesterday was such a busy day I literally woke up <laughs> and I didn't get home essentially until 12 hours later it was crazy but the tournament ran great had a lot had a really fun time I did not drop a single game. So let's go. Your boy is actually the GOAT. Proving that he is top 50 worthy in this game. Uh... Oh, the tournament was fun. Yeah. I, yo, I really hope you guys had a great time. You know, hope, hope, look, hope good old Ace, you know, wants to, wants to come back. You know, <laughs> Uh, it seemed like uh, it seemed like all the players were uh, were really really cool with him. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad you guys were able to uh, to make it out and stuff. <laughs> Is there another PR coming out soon? Uh, there. So Adam, there should be another one coming out. I, I'm not sure when. I'm assuming January, but it could be February to March for all I know. Uh, I'm not sure if I will be on that one. I don't know if I perform the best, but hey, we had we we had a pretty good run, and we'll try to make it, you know do better next year. I'm assuming I'd be like you know just a little bit out of the top 50 now. And yeah, the tournament is for Project Plus. Wait, throw. Do you know what Project Plus is? Oh, also, uh, Nayame. I don't know if you saw, but uh, I posted um, I posted the new event schedule and stuff like that in the uh, in the Discord, so you guys can see, you know, whenever we have all of our events are. Okay, great. All right, I'm I'm just making sure. Yeah, that was the event. It was for Project Plus. I ran that. I run those. Uh, I run those for our scene, and they go they go they go pretty pretty good. Uh, we even got some ultimate players uh to come out. It seems like um. Uh, the smash ultimate scene has been having a few issues so you know they need they need somewhere to go so we've um so a few of them showed up yesterday. it was pretty cool they had a fun time we had our good old we had a we had a redemption bracket and stuff so you know when you're out in bracket and go o2 you can you can keep playing so yeah it was good want to see the screenshot bet show show me the screenshot Oh yeah, Nayame did uh what was that Ace's uh own money that he paid for the tournament for? Because when he came up and uh and asked me, I was like, like, oh yeah, cool. And then when you came up saying you wanted to pay for him, I just thought that was very funny and wholesome. My man, my man is out here, he's like, yo, I I got this. <laughs> it memes on your server, bet. Only. An incredible upcoming octo. Wait, what? Wait, what is this? What am I? What? Wait, what? What am I looking at right now? What is this? What is this PR? 
What is this PR for? Is it for Celeste? What? What's going on? I, I actually don't even know what it's for. Is it Octodad? What is Framemakers? It's another Smash game? Wait, what? Yo, send send me a link of Frame Makers. I've never I've never heard of this. Oh, oh wait, hold on a second. Oh wait, 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 wait. Is that the game that has like um? Oh my God. Um, it has like the the boots guy from uh, from Downfall. And it has the the guy that has rainbows and stuff. I I think I did hear that game actually. It did look pretty cool if I remember correctly. Yes. Oh, is, is he? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> I literally know nothing about the game, like at all. How many characters are, are in this game? No, there's five. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, sound, that sounds pretty balanced to me. Yo, send me a link to the to like a trailer for Fame Makers or something. Or if you have a VOD of yourself playing, hey, you know what? I will I will watch your VOD. I'm assu I'm assuming it's on Steam. Oh wait, the game has assists? I did not know the game had assists. Don't got any bot. Rip. That's okay. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Man, I'm gonna have to, oh God. I'm gonna have to start posting all of our VODs that we just had this week. But I, I'm so lazy. I don't want to. I don't want to cut them right now. But I know. I know. I'm gonna have to. <sighs> I'm just. I'm just so lazy.
But if it's for the good of the scene, I'll do it. Also, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna start looking out for more Wii's again, uh, so I can uh, do do like another giveaway for Wii's and stuff like that for our Smash events because uh, people seem to really need those. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start going on another hunt for those. It'll be cool. Oh, bet. Yes, sir, it did. Yep, this was the exact game that I was thinking of. Oh, yeah, that, that guy looks sick. Do you, oh, throw, do you guys do your, your events like online or do you do them uh, in person? Oh, they got, they got Orcane. Sheesh. This game does look kind of slick sometimes though. Is it, um, is the, are the tournaments region locked or are they, um, or do they allow anybody, anybody to, to enter? I don't think. Okay, so, so anybody all over the US can, can just enter on the online ones. You know what that game does look kind of cool you know wait are the online events free or are they uh are they paid honorable mention are you crying from happiness or from sadness that you didn't make it all the way on Sadness, got it. I definitely get that, 100%. Hey, who knows? Maybe if I start playing the game, I'll get PR'd, you know? Yo, what if I show up and I, I get PR'd? Like, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be sick? I play Smash. All right, learning stuff is easy. Well, I don't want to say it's easy, but in platform fighters, like, hey, I, I will be able to learn it pretty quickly, probably. Probably. I've start. I've started playing Rivals, and honestly, Rivals is re Rivals of Aether is really really cool, and um. I should probably see if there's a local for it here. Uh, because uh, I think I think I could probably do pretty good in Rivals. Maybe not right this second, but I could probably do pretty good. Bro, I haven't seen your project. Let me see your sets. <sighs> Bet. All right, here we go. I will... Uh, I will send you our last set of VODs.
here's my set in uh in grand finals uh this this is last month it says i'm in losers because i played mario in winners finals and i and i lost olimar is my main <laughs> I'm not the number one in San Antonio for no reason. Your boy's kind of really good. I'm not top 50 in the world for no reason. Yeah, it's a uh, it is a it is a custom skin that uh, that I had that I had commissioned um, So for the for the longest time since I've been playing this game I had always wanted an Olimar that had an afro and so one day this guy uh, He was like, like, oh, yeah, you know, I've actually been meaning to like make uh, an updated skin for you and uh, Yeah, he made he made the super duper cool skin got the colors just right and he even put glasses on it yeah, it's literally, it's literally perfect. I love it so much. Yeah, it's, a, it's an Omega W. Shout out, shout out to Finger Stripes. He, he is the goat for make, he's one of the goats for making skins in this game. Very, very much so appreciate that dude. Uh, if you're so if you are if you are in tournament uh, You could buy you could do you could do a few things. So On net play you could you can use a keyboard now if you're going if you're going IRL um, I'm not sure if there is like a peripheral that'll let you use a keyboard there might be though um, But uh, The other alternative would be using a uh like a box kind of like um it's kind of like the boxes that fighting game players use like you know players that play like street fighter and stuff like that except it's only it's only buttons A lot, a lot of people really like those though. You can customize them in pretty much any way you want. Uh, if you wanted to feel like a keyboard, you can get it to feel like a keyboard. Uh, it's relatively ergonomic. Uh, you can do, you get access to a whole lot of essentially cheater tech. Uh, so, so yeah, it's uh, it's they're they're cool. doing diagonal
and you know if you ever do want to play the game hey i can give i can give you all the tips that you would need to buy the the correct equipment i can show you how to set it all up i got you literally at the tournament uh somebody somebody brought in a wii and i set up their whole system i got it homebrewed uh i did all the all the special settings and everything like that um so yeah if you, if you ever needed help with something like that i got you i can do it in real time it's not it's not too crazy Why, why am I doing that right there? Okay, well, I will do this a few more times then that that'll be the end of my of my training session for the day. Whack. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. We did it. All right, we will we will live with that. <laughs> All right, yo, th thanks for coming out, bro. Yo, I appreciate you just rocking with me, my guy. Yo, you too, Adam. Yo, you guys are, uh, you guys, you guys been great. And yes, there, there is edge hogging in this game. Yep. Yep, absolutely edge hogging. <laughs> GG's. You have a great rest of your day. And, uh, yeah, yo, if you're pulling up tomorrow, uh, yeah, 630, 630 PM CST, as you already know what it is. All right, I'm out of here. Later. Have a good day. Oh wait, how do I how do I end the stream again? Oh yeah, like this.